again uh, for another week or so of starters orders action uh, probably play up to winter derby day at Lingfield on must be a Saturday um, got a few runners midweek as well uh, yep you may use postscript give me a few quid for it uh, right we got Dream catch me in a Ma handicap. Ran quite well in South Africa. Pretty nice statistics apart from the half finish application. Uh, what are we up against? Hmm. A not a it's top weight. Possibly a bit of a stamina doubt looking at the breeding there. But I feel like this horse is has got ability, a few quid. Put it down to 37 or so. Yeah. So, wants to come from behind like so many of my horses do. All in. All in. And they're racing. P at Spirit World. Dream Catch Me is racing at the back. La Not is driven into the early lead. Chantilly Lady races freely in second. Pretty happy with Chantilly the position. Lady takes up the running it. from La Not. The field is tightly grouped. Stamina bar is filling up quite well. La Not is pushed into the lead again. Lanot leads from Chantilly Lady Aga back to BBD Chama Gap. One creeping from forward a little bit from here. And then Gary Nozar. A bit trapped. Lanot is in front from Chantilly Lady Aga to Gap to Chama right. two lengths to South Midwestern. And then Mikola to Gap back to Gary Nozar. Just clear of Piat's about a gap to Dream Catch Me and then go Savita. Turning left handed. Less than four furlongs to go. Chantilly Lady takes up the running from Lanot. Chantilly Lady is in front from Lanot Agap to Abde Cham from Saffron Investor Agap back some of this to Green Catch on the bridle. Inside the final three fair longs. Rivington is under pressure out the back. Got Lanot among those in front of us. Chantilly Lady lead from Lanot and then Saffron ebbing. Investor Agap to Dream Catch me just clear of BB Date Cham Agap back to Nicolet. Well inside the final two fair longs. Go past one of them. Chantilly Lady is ridden in the lead by a length. Go on. Into the final for long. Do it for Newton Faulkner. Dream Catch Me takes it up. Dream Catch Me is a length up on Chantilly Lady. Huge when I was a teenager. Dream, so Dream Catch Me. Dream Catch Me takes it easy. Fantastic. A course record as well. I was a little bit worried when the stamina bar started ebbing away at a furlong out, but we saw it out a lot better than that. Even that's a semi shaky stare at a mile, maybe. The not I didn't get home. Nice. How much did we win there? Nice, over a million. That's a good start. That South African form is pretty strong. This horse has been disappointing, hasn't it? Um, what I might do is just let the computer ride it to see what comments in running we get. If it says it didn't get a mile, or we'll just see what it does with it. Let's just skip to the results. Okay, we finished third. Well away, taken back to rear, rear. Got nearly one as well. Let's watch the replay. Under orders. Just stay a mile, all right. Let's skip this off. And they're off. King Fontaine is driven. Corsa can masquerade ranges up on the outside. Fuck. Oh, Kite yeah. windmill takes oh. it. Almost looked like it won. Not certain that the trip suited. Hmm. I just wish I'd rode it now. Okay. Possible stud booking for a gazelle. Yeah. You, you may do that. Now, we have... Two runners at Wolves, Zarma, another of these sort of very low grade vanity projects. I just want to get a win out of it. Um, 
I might try different tactics. There's so little there in the secondary stats. Alright. They're under got to pick up one of these races sooner or later, though. And they're racing. Not sure, it wants to make the running. So our mistakes are pull in the lead. Jake Smiles has pushed along in last. Four furlongs to go. Right. Idris Strand has pushed into the early lead. Quartz Stairs has pushed into an early lead from Idris Strand. Racing left handed. Sunny Rebel is on the move. Try and save Less some than at the three inside. furlongs to go. Quartz Tears is one length clear of Sunny Rebel, just clear of armor, just clear of Idris Trum, just clear of the Nazi back to waterfall one, just clear of ever so lonely, and then Jake Smiles in last position. Uh, are we Less than two furlongs to go. So Army goes into the lead. Into the Bruh. final furlong. Quartz Tears hits the front. Go on, Zarma. Zarma takes up the running once more oh, from no. Quartz Tears. Quartz oh. Tears is Quartz Tears is the winner. God, it looked like we got there. Couldn't have ridden it much more efficiently either. Oh, quartz Tears. It's a slightly higher grade horse. <sighs> that was the last time out winner. Maybe we went too fast. Because, yeah, the prominent racers finished behind me. Damn it. That would have given me some satisfaction. Now this has got another race in it. Ooh, concupiscent. Oh, first run since I sold it, I think. Yeah, it was down the field in the Winter Hill. Hmm. I think Echo Beach has got more races in it. Won the London Gold Cup. Disappointed in South Africa. Won well there. And ran quite well this season at uh, Kenilworth as well. Yeah, this is worth a few quid, I think. Bet this down to about five million. Sorry, this could be a lot of rapid clicking for the next couple of minutes. That'll do. One more for luck. Come on. They're under starter's orders. And they're racing. Right, we want to tuck in. Satu Major and Welt. Oh, why draw? Lucky Lever is driven into the early lead. Quint to Chatel that just pushed into the early lead. Lucky Lever is driven to lead again. Plenty of pace on early and they are strung out. Oh yeah, they are going fast. Quint to Chatel that just pushed into the lead again. It's probably Quint in the right Chetel place back here. One length ahead of Lucky Lever from right. Belabula Gap back to Orgevern and are just clear of Baron Tess, clear of Toy Boy. Racing left handed. Quint to Chatel that leads by a length. Cottage made races wide. Quint to Chatel that is one length ahead of Lucky Lever the gap top the Labula just clear of Orgeburn R the gap to Barantes clear of Satu Majin and then Toy Boy back to Concupiscent. Less than Get six for to go. Barantes improves easily. Echo Beach has pushed along out the back. Toy Boy is them. in the lead about eight lengths off the pace. Hopefully they just will the, the front of us. Five furlongs. Echo ideal. Beach is making headway. Lucky Livra is going well. They can grind quite nicely. Toy Boy wide. is racing out the back about eight lengths off the pace. Well inside the final four furlongs. Turning left handed. Oh nice. Baron Tess ranges up easily on the outside. Well inside the final three Cut furlongs. Them quite well. Echo Beach now Suddenly just leads. Echo Beach lead from Quintu Chaitlet from Barham Tess back to Lucky Lever. Inside the final two furlongs. Echo Beach goes into a three length lead. Echo Beach well, leads and is a long way clear. Echo Beach is well clear. 
well into the final furlong. Oh, I get desperate. Concupiscent is making progress. Echo Beach is three lengths in front of Concupiscent. Oh, we got it. Echo Beach wins. Just for a minute thought I'd gone too soon. Yeah, I'm not surprised that's a course record. A few of those lately. I have more left to give too. Oh, that ran well. Give uh, Tim Easterby some fun. Nice, that was a good winning bet as well. 2.3 million, much needed. Alright, things are going well this video. Weekly sale, what have we got? Bob's Lance, which is just a 70 odd horse. Uh, there's not much there, is there? Leave those alone. And now we've got Guilty Filthy Soul. Ah, uh, yeah, so oh, this is different. It wants to go from the front. <coughs> Sorry, um, progressive at a low level. Seems to get a mile fine. Has more to give. Evens favourite. Eh, let's not push our luck too much. Under orders. And they're racing. Some deal started slowly. Making the running last time. Guilty, so filthy that. soul leads by a length. Going right handed. Guilty, filthy soul is two lengths ahead of Beshawar Imarati. Next is Daily Theft back to Skyrocket. Uh, this thing to wants to hustle Rolands, us. Two lengths back to Finlagen. Beshawar Imarati is pushed into the early lead. Beshabur Emirati is one length ahead of Skyrocket and then nice Guilty the Filthy Soul two lengths clear of Daily Theft and then Moscus Romance a gap back to some Gil and then Finlagen clear of Pato Princess in last position. Inside the final five furlongs. Beshabur Emirati is in front Make from sure Guilty Filthy that, yeah. Soul from Skyrocket just clear of Daily Theft. Next is Moscus Romance two lengths back to Finlagen just clear of some Gil a few lengths to Pato Princess in last position. Racing oh, right gone fairly fast for a low grade Daily race. Theft goes well. So I want to try Pato and save. Is out wide. And save the final three fair longs. So the green ones beat. The dangerous are probably filthy coming soul from behind. is one length in front of Skyrock. Get a gap it's back to Beshaver and Rati and then Daily Theft. Moscrous Romance now leads. Moscrous Romance just lead from Guilty Filthy Soul. Uh, no, you don't. Guilty filthy soul now just leads well into the Daily final furlong. Here comes Daily Theft. Guilty filthy soul is a length up on Daily Theft. Uh, Daily Theft. Mad. Daily Theft is the winner. Damn. Look, he's going to improve a little bit, pick up a few more races. Will he sort of plug away till the end of the season? Uh. Disappointing to lose to a horse like that though. Not a stable star. Okay, that's another day done. Another message. Yes, you may use Gizeo. Alright, this is a good day. We've got... It's Winter Derby Day, isn't it? Um, starting off with the Heaver Sprint Stakes where we have Tintinabulation. His career has gone downhill quite dramatically from winning the uh, Nunthorpe and the King's Stand in 2029. Uh, did get back up in a little handicap last time, which might help him. And Crave is fairly reliable at a lower level. Um, won this last year, beating Tintin Abulation. Probably his only good run, really, apart from the win last time. But I think I'll ride Crave You. I'm banned from riding. What did I do? Oh no. Alright, well, we can't ride that. That's going to be a frustrating. I must have done something in a previous video. 
Oh, that's going to really scupper our plans a little bit. Right, so we'll have to put a challenge early on that. There's a glitch in this game where if you have one runner in a race, it still lets you ride, but it won't let you select to take the reins if you have more than one. Oh, that's going to really suck in the better races as well. Group ones and stuff. All right. They are ready to go Let's in the heater sprint stakes. And they're racing. Sacred Heart World. Enderby Nastase is pushed along to an early again. lead. Tintin Abulation needs to lead, I think. Enderby Nastase. Tintin Abulation moves through the pack. Germantes is ridden into the lead. Craveview is pushed along out the back. Well inside the final What's three he doing furlongs. on Craveview? Jad here Power is pushed into the lead. Jad here Power is in front from Germantes from Tintin Abulation next to Zenderby Nastase with Artorium and... Germantes takes up the running once more from Very Jad here Power. Jad here Power takes it up again from Dot Germantes. Craveview runs on late. Into the final furlong. Jad here Power is ridden in the lead by a length. Jad here Power has to in hand of Tintin Abulation. Jad here Power wins well. Frustrating, I feel like I could have won on Craveview if I'd ridden it. I wouldn't have gone eight wide throughout. Um, hmm. Tintin ran okay, giving weight away. He's probably running into the hundreds again. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Alright, and I can't ride in this either. We have two legit to quit. Who maybe has a bit of work to do, but was a good two year old, so maybe don't give up. Blister in the sun. Similarly good two year old on the fringes in all the key races. Uh, Press the Digitateur. Similar group one placed. And my so-called life, who are a little bit less classy. Hmm. And what else are we up against? I feel like we should beat that. Now and forever is a group winner. Uh huh. Tahama flowers. Genki Feroff. Hmm. Well, I guess all we can do is watch. They are ready to go in the Spring Cup. They're off. I feel like one of mine should win it. Too legit to quit is racing out the back a couple of lengths off the pace. Compact Disc is pushed into an early lead from Nuka Don't Block. Compact Disc is one length in front of Alshug from Cypress Bloodied from Nuka Don't Block ahead of Blister in the sun ahead of my so-called life. Going left handed. <coughs> Must be Compact something in the previous Disc is two video lengths I did in front of Alshug back to Cypress band. Bloodied just clear of my so-called life just clear of Nuka Don't Block from Blister in the sun. Well, well inside the final five furlongs. Jenki Feroff is taking behind. the long way around. Inside the final four furlongs. Timeless Chancer is racing midfield and under pressure about six lengths off the pace. Compact Disc is two lengths clear of Cypress Bloodied and then I'll shoot from Blister in the Sun a gap back to my so-called life. The favourite has nowhere to on the go. Inside. Compact Disc is one length in front of Cypress Bloodied ahead of I'll shoot. Compact Disc is one length ahead of Blister in the Sun. Well inside the final two furlongs. Compact Disc is a length clear of I'll shoot. Compact Disc is ridden in the lead by a length. Into the final furlong. Timeless Chancer is flying. Compact Disc just lead from Timeless Chancer. Timeless Chancer. Timeless oh, Chancer takes I it. I think I would have won that as well. Dear oh dear. Not much room, not much room. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Uh, 
I can't write the noun either, which I'd really like to do. Well, we'll just have to put all of them challenge earlier, prefer inside, try and make them write a bit more sensibly. Oh dear, breakdown used to be one of mine, I think. This first race since leaving me, yeah, it was mine up until the end of last year by Bound for Glory. First time gelded, so it could improve. Oh, this is going to be so frustrating just watching. They are ready to go in the Group 3 Winter Derby, and they're off. Marley Sagas is anchored in the lead about three lengths off the pace. Racing left handed. Marley Sagas is last. The Nint is buried in the chasing pack about four lengths off the so pace. The Nint's the one, the second Rick one of mine. Progress. Keltos is one length ahead of Pure Gun and just clear of Inquit and then Zero Commotion. Inside yeah, good the position. final mile. Hopefully he doesn't get boxed in. Keltos leads from Pure Gun a gap back to Zero Commotion and then Inquit a gap back to the Nint and then Cully Baki ahead of everybody loose and then Lemon looks. Keltos leads the way. Keltos is the leader from Gunner, gap to zero commotion, uh, just clear of Inquit a few lengths to the Nint to gap to over a body loose and then Lemon looks inside the final six furlongs. Pure Gunner goes into the lead, racing left handed. Five furlongs to go. Keltos is driven to lead again. Feels like they're in good position still. Keltos is one clear of Pure Gunner, just clear of Inquit next is zero commotion. They have four furlongs to go. Pure Gunner is pushed into the lead again from Keltos. Pure Gunner is the leader from Inko with next is Keltos yeah, from Zero Commotion a gap back to the Nint. Less than three furlongs to go. Lemon looks as racing midfield and under pressure a couple of lengths past leader the though. Pure Gunner has to in hand of Inko it. Inside the final two furlongs. Pure Gunner has to in hand of Inko it. Pure Gunner is a length oh, clear this? of several commotion. Several commotion takes a fractional advantage. Into the final furlong. Several commotion has quickened into the lead. Several commotion is two lengths in front of Marley Sargus. Hmm. I feel like they all rode quite sensible races, but it's a course record, so maybe the pace was too strong. Hard to say, not being in the race. Um, Serial commotion's a fair horse, but I think the Nayant's got stronger form, really. Ah, oh, man. Well, at least we can ride this one. But godlike Roy, who is disappointing, uh, likes to race prominently. It's Department Smart. Who could be quite a nice horse. I like the Stallion. Um, the dam was no good, but he himself has got pretty useful form. Was finishing off as if he wanted further last year. Uh, Ren Warbler is a five-year-old, quite exposed. Bianca de Medici, that should stay further too. Uh, and the dam wasn't bad, okay. And Man by Halo is a long way out of the handicap. Yeah, we'd do well to win this, I think, but I'll give it a go. All in. And they're off. Mamba Halo was slow from the gate. God like Roy breaks sharply. Undisputed lead, Turning be nice. handed God like Roy is one length in front of Mamba Halo. Next is Ren Warbler a gap to Portman Smart a gap back to Bianca de Medici in last position. No, Ren Warbler wants to mess with us. Ren Warbler is pushed into an early lead from God like Roy. Entering the final mile, they are strung out like washing. 
Ren Warbler is one length ahead of Godlike Roya Gap to Mumba Halo just clear of apart and smart to gap back to Bianca de Medici in last position. Stamina bar is full. Six for longs to go. The two key horses are behind us, Ren and we haven't come that two hard. Two so clear of God, like Roy, just of clear of Mamba Halo, a gap to Plotman, smart to gap back to Bianca de Medici in last position. Less than five for longs to go. Mamba Halo is making ground. Ren Warbler looks to be going well. They have four for make longs sure to go. that they've got to come four wide. Ren they Warbler want to pass. is ridden in the lead by a length. He gets the lead and then duck to the inside. Bianca de Medici is last and driven along and is some six lengths off the pace. Inside the final three fair longs. God like Roy is pushed along in the lead by two lengths. Got a good lead. The favourite has lost ground. Well inside the final two fair longs. God like Roy lead from Mambo Halo a gap to Warren Warbler just clear of Bianca de Medici and then the Parkman's Mart in last position. Oh, come. Well into the final for long. God like Roy is the clear leader. God like Roy is two lengths in front of Bianca <laughs> de Medici. A Parkman's Mart is. I thought I'd ridden a canny race and in the end I probably ended up going too soon. Stamina bar did go from full to nothing pretty quickly near the end. Um, mm, what happened there? I felt like we had that absolutely cooked. And then it just got outstayed. I mean, they are good horses, I think, that we lost to there. Eee. Not sure. Uh, should we play one more day? Yeah. Just got the one runner, so might as well. Dreadlock holiday. Okay, so this is going the right way. Uh, another one who wants to race prominently. Uh, mostly up against three-year-olds. I think I'll just ride it. <coughs> They're ready. And they're racing. Dreadlock Holiday leads. Skipper's mate is pushed into an early lead from Dreadlock Holiday. No uncontested lead. They are strung out like washing. Skipper's mate ups the tempo. Skipper's mate is two lengths clear of Dreadlock Holiday, clear of Smarty Going Booty, and then reach me a gap back to Librano front from Umsiat ahead of Pednet Academician, a gap back to Cypress County in last position. Inside the final five furlongs. The favourite has lost ground, and is 8 lengths off the pace. Well inside the final 4 furlongs. Skipper's mate is a little bit clearly close, ahead sir. of Dreadlock Holiday, just clear of Smarty Booty to gap back to reach mate to gap to all of Brano front and then Pensnet Academician. Less than 3 furlongs to go. Skipper's mate leads, and is clear. Well inside the final 2 furlongs. Skipper's mate is three lengths in front of Penn's Net Academician. Left. Skipper's mate has to in hand of Penn's Net Academician. Penn's Net Academician goes into the lead. Penn's Net Academician is a length clear of Skipper's mate. There is going to be a big shot here. Penn's Net Academician is the. E hmm. Ran a good race to beat the leader, but beaten by a better one. Uh. Jeez, what happened there? So, boiled over there, ran well in the su super sprint to be midfield. Previously dead heated in a maiden with Ashfield, who's you know, a useful horse. I guess it makes some sense. It was unexposed for a trip. Uh, Laurel Diver was a good horse. Yeah, 
in the stand there. Alright, and that's another week in my save done. Um, next week, uh, let's have a look at this ban. What's going on? 24 days! What did I do? Is it in the news? Uh, I can't see anything about it. Hmm. No, I don't know what I did. Very, very strange. But anyway, um, yeah, I think I can set up a few more matings now that another week has passed. And next week we've got the Brocklesby, uh, have runners in the Camage, probably that and that. I don't usually have anything for the Lincoln, um, but this breeder sale could be quite good. Um, hopefully, pick up a few useful mares there for the breeding barn, and uh, catch you in the next one.